Bony bank art with slap repair and rumpless edge procedure. This is a case of 27-year-old male who had 20 episodes of recurrent shoulder dislocation. Key examinations for anterior instability all tested positive. X-ray showing a silhouette of bone defect of the inferior glenoid and a medium-sized hill sacs lesion. CT scan reveals a bony bankart lesion with a size of 15 by 10 by 8 millimeter, glenoid bone loss of 11.7%, and a hill sacs interval of 26.5 millimeters. MRI also confirms a bony bankart and a slap lesion on coronal view. We prefer the TU supine as our position of choice in performing shoulder instability cases. Portals used are postero inferior, antero superior, antero inferior, and the 5 o'clock portal. We initially prepare the sutures for our hill sacs prior to repair of our bank card lesions. After roughing the edges with a curette, microfracture is done followed by insertion of the suture anchors. Two suture anchors are inserted to repair our hill sacs. Sutures will be passed through the infraspinatus and posterior capsule, but will be left untied as to prepare for the bank art repair. After the sutures have been passed, trial reduction is done by simple tensioning of the sutures. The 5 o'clock portal is made approximately 1.5 centimeters below the anterior portal, just above the axillary fold. To accurately center our trajectory, we use a spinal needle and a cannulated switching stick. This can directly access the 5 o'clock face of the glenoid and can often be safely placed through the subscapularis tendon. This is most especially useful in cases where a large tissue imbrication is needed to capture and reduce a bony bank art lesion such as in our patient. Using our Ontario Superior Portal as a viewing portal, we can see the whole span of the glenoid and the labrum. This is the advantage of the TU supine position, as we can easily navigate the glenoid to see even the 6 o'clock position. Attach the labral tear until it is completely free and easily mobilized, we 
then roughen the edges with a rasp. Then ablate the edges of the glenoid to serve as landmark for our suture anchors. For our patient, we will be placing our anchors at 5.30, 4 o'clock and 2.30 positions. We reduce our bony defect by going over the top and capturing the labrum, the bone, and the capsule using nitinol wire as a relay suture. We prefer a thicker tissue to imbricate as it reinforces our fixation and stabilizes the bone further. Once all anchors have been placed, we proceed to tying down the bony bank cart. Subsequent reduction suture anchors are continued to complete the repair from 5.30, 4 o'clock and then 2.30.
the slap lesion is repaired from a transcuff portal, this portal is placed on the anterolateral corner of the acromion. the slap tear in both anterior and posterior corners. The sutures are tied away from the biceps tendon as to avoid bicep tendon strangulation. Finally, we go back to tying our remplissage. We prefer our reduction to be proud or over-reduced, because this will eventually be molded over time by the humeral head after rehabilitation.